Hi guys, so I'm going back to basics and I'm trying to make everything that I've ever done wrong perfect. Now scrambled eggs is one of those things that you just generally tend to make and not really think about but it should be fluffy, it should be creamy, it should be soft, it should just buttery and amazing in your mouth but all the time whenever I make it they just usually like burn. I mean it's less scrambled eggs more like eggs that were cracked in a pot and twisted a bit. So, <laughs> I was on a mission to learn how to perfect it, and this is what I've come up with. So, to make these delicious scrambled eggs, this is all you're going to need. About four or five organic eggs, a little splash of oil, or you can use butter, about half a shot glass one to two tablespoons of coconut milk or cream make sure it's unsweetened and salt and pepper and that's pretty much it all right first things first put your heat on quite medium don't be afraid of using a little bit more heat than you should because you want the eggs to cook quite evenly so you add in your oil and you crack your eggs in now people some people like to crack it before and whisk it together but seeing as how it's all going to be made to you know on the in the pan i prefer to do it all in the pan and i've tried both methods and i think that this one gives it a lovely creamier sort of texture so yeah just crack it in it doesn't matter if the yolk breaks because you're just going to stir it now and this is what makes the scrambled eggs you want to keep stirring make sure that you scrape from the sides so that there's not like bits that are already starting to crust and you just have to keep going it takes about five minutes but your patience will be rewarded You'll notice that it starts to cook and you get these like little eggy globules coming out. Do not stop stirring at this point. And don't forget to scrape from the sides. That's like really important because what you have is uneven cooking. Next, once it starts to you know form together, add in your coconut milk. And as you can see, it's actually not that much in terms of how much egg I'm using, but this is going to give that lovely creamy velvety sort of feel. And yeah, just lower your heat if you need to at this point and stir some more. Now I'm gonna start my what I call the great scrape. I just don't like to waste that. I hate seeing food at the bottom of the pan that could have been scraped off. And is it just me or does it taste really, really good? I just love to eat food from the pan <laughs> like a bushwoman. But yeah, um, scrape it from the pan and obviously try some. It's my favorite bit, mm, yeah. and give it a little bit of stir till it gets to the consistency that you like. And then you can serve it. I've made some tortillas. Um, I've done this in another video, so I'll leave a link below. And I'm just sort of gonna slap it on a slab and eat it. I mean, this is for breakfast, so I'm not really so concerned about how it looks, but it does taste gorgeous. I would definitely recommend this to everyone. I'm just sprinkling in some, you know, finely chopped chili seeds for a little bit of a kick because I love me some spicy and some coriander. And there you have it, guys. That is my scrambled eggs. I made some salsa on the side and I gave it to the German and he absolutely loved it with a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for watching.